Okay, today we are talking about rotator cuff and why we're going to use bands instead of dumbbells. Most physios and most rehab we use bands, as in pair of bands. Now, usually it used to be bands like the wide bands, we like using tubing, so this is a lot better resistance than the band I feel and they last a lot longer. Um, and we're going to show you today about why we're using these instead of dumbbells and a couple of essential external rotation exercises that I want you guys to work on to help with the rotator cuff strength and the posterior rotator cuff and general shoulder rehab. So why do we use bands? Well, with a dumbbell, like I see people doing rotator cuff work like this. Now, the problem with that is, yes, you're externally rotating, you're using your external rotators, but the weight is going vertical, okay? So there's no lateral resistance. So I'm actually using the bicep and my forearm to hold the weight up. So the resistance is going that way. Now, for rotation, we want resistance going this way. So I would use a band. Now, these color systems are pretty universal. Red one is medium. That's what we usually start people off with. And a green one is the firm to progress to. So if we start with the red, what I like to do, put a little knot through like that. So when you tighten it up, straight through like that, pretty easy and put your hand through so you don't have to grip as much, you don't have to worry about the gripping part. Now, as you can see now, my resistance is here. So it's much more work weight than the rotator cuff by going outwards. And the other thing is, when I'm going, if I'm doing external rotation, I'm going from internal rotation to external, what happens is, my rotator cuff, so my for spinatus here, my Terry's minor, what they do is they shorten as I externally rotate. So with the muscle, when it shortens, it gains relative strength. Okay, so I want this band actually getting harder as I externally rotate. So I'm keeping the resistance relative to how strong the muscle is throughout the range. And you can't do that with a dumbbell. Okay, and the same thing is when you're on your side and you're doing this sort of sorry, this sort of thing with the dumbbell, okay, yes there's gravity, but there's no real change in resistance with the dumbbells. That's why I just get rid of dumbbells for rehab completely and work on bands. So what are you gonna be thinking? When I'm externally rotating, the band is tightening and therefore I'm providing an even resistance throughout the range is what we want. Alright? Now, a couple of tricks with external rotation. You've got to make sure that you don't cheat by having your elbow close to your side. So don't lock your elbow in and try and do this. You've got to have your elbow a little bit away from your body. The other thing you've got to do is make sure is you don't have your elbow too far forward and your shoulder can't be too far forward. Okay, so if I'm here, my shoulder's got to be neutral, not pulled all the way back, just a neutral. And I'm going to pull from internal rotation to external rotation, keeping my elbow in one position. All right. Now, what I like to do sometimes is just keep my finger on the elbow, so I've got a point of reference to pivot on, or you can put it behind you, so you're pivoting on like that, All right. and just work in the range that you're pain free, like your available range. There's no point in going out and getting into pain, okay? so just working on the pain free range until that range improves with strength, strength and range of movement. All right. So that's external rotation, one of the most common ones, and that's working on keeping that rotator cuff active at the back, which is what we need for when we're pressing and pulling. Um, to advance zero, what we call zero degrees, okay, or neutral external rotation, what we do is 45 degrees, and you'll see that on the program. When you go 45 degrees, I mean 45 degrees abduction. Now to pull back in that position, you then have to go and face that way, okay, about 45 degrees. So when I pull back, the band's still in the same line of pull, all right? And this is really crucial that I keep my elbow in one position, all right? So when you pull back, you don't want to see your shoulder coming up, and you definitely don't want to use the shoulder or use your back to externally rotate. If you're doing that, the band's either too hard, like it's too tight, or that exercise is too difficult for you. So, being in this position at 45 degrees activates your supraspinatus. So that is a little bit more advanced rehab. You've got to make sure your supraspinatus is actually working. So if you've got a rotator cuff tear or you're recovering from a tendonopathy in the supraspinatus, you've got to make sure that that 
is not painful, okay? So being in that 45 degree position on a bit of an angle, so when that line of pull is perpendicular to your arm and keeping that elbow really nice in one position and trying to use the full range that's available and just make sure that you don't arch your back or compensate with that, okay? And with all these exercises, you're sitting around about three to four sets and about 12 to 15 repetitions per set.